Father God, thank you for bringing your viewers to this channel. Thank you for being God. Thank you for being strong, something we can rely upon. These are some dark days. These are some tough times, and there is sadness all over this world you created. But we know that you will see us through these times. We know you will mend the brokenhearted. We know that you will give us true joy and happiness when all this is done. In Jesus' name, amen. Where's the good news? That's the question we were all asking these days. I think everyone is running for cover since so much hell has been raining on us. This year has been all about illnesses and exposure. And this is just July. The year isn't even done. But know this, every dark cloud has a silver lining. In the midst of loss, chaos, and violence, nothing can be more soothing than the still, quiet voice of God whispering in your ear, I'm here for you. The assurance that God will give you beauty for your ashes. The assurance that God will restore all that was lost. The assurance that God, and only God, can put a broken heart back together again. Do I need to remind you, and sometimes myself, that we are the children of God? We are born of his spirit. We aren't slaves to fleshly hate. Well, we're not supposed to be slaves to fleshly hate. We are the light of the world. Only light can cast out darkness. I know what you're saying. That's a lot of optimism. It is. I see the devastation, racial hatred, and violence and corruption. But I know that God is still on the throne. I know that God can do everything except two things, violate your will and lie. Therefore, if you are aware of those things, then what is said in Romans 8.17 is the absolute truth. And Romans 8.17 goes like this. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God, and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. There is a light at the end of this tunnel, and that light is Jesus. Now, that does not mean we shouldn't value our lives and take other people's lives for granted. Do not put your Lord God to the test. Your life and everyone else's life is precious and valuable and worthy. Understand this. So if you are being told to wear a mask during this pandemic, wear the mask just for peace. There's someone recording this sermon right now, and they are far away, so there's social distancing. <laughs> That's what we're practicing. But for the sake of trying to get this message through so you can hear correctly, there is no mask on me right now. These are dark days. These days are dark. And nowhere in the Bible, which is God's word, did God say there wouldn't be dark days. The Bible never said everything was going to be easy. But understand this, when times are at their darkest, God will always shine through. You just have to allow his light to shine in your heart. In closing, look for your ladder. When Jacob was leaving Beersheba, traveling to Haran, he stopped to rest and dreamed of a ladder. The ladder had angels ascending and descending on it. Above it was God who told Jacob that his offspring would be blessed through him and spread out all over the land. But the thing I want you to take notice of is what else God told Jacob. God told Jacob, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. This is the juicy part. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. The assurance we need today is that God will never leave you, or never leave us. But if you want to know what the promises of God, ha promises of God that he has for you and everyone else, you and everyone else have to use your own heart and seek out your own ladder and find God. Trust me, God is, God is there waiting for you. God is there waiting patiently for you with good news. And looks like you got your good news for today. Amen.
And now we will have our benediction. Peace be with you. And also with you. Have a wonderful day.